Welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated... According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's 4-3-3. Uh, well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. There's the whistle, and here we go. Simons. Ma. Simons. It's a great gallop down the right-hand side. Looks to drop one in. Header! And it's a goal! The ideal start! A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Oh, look, it's it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, mm -hmm. then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Lover. Yelchin. A really good feat. Plays it out to the flank. Gets it into the middle. It's a brilliant interception. Ayu. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Hoist it forward. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Plays it out to the wing. Gorgeous control there. Eduardo Vargas. Ayu. There has been just the early goal here, and the score is 1-0. Denisov. Forward it goes. Keeper's ball. Tete. Steered forward. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Drives it towards the front. Ball is over the line. in a foot to win it back and he certainly caught him there it's a free kick
Dietmar. the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted however credit where it's due it's still a fine finish from a tight spot So that's two now without reply. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Massive leap! He has done it! Deep into first-half stoppage time, a crucial goal! That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. We have got... And we hit half-time. Oh, a really good half of football, three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, they can add more goals and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, it's still anyone's game as, as both sides have shown they have goals in them. As for the next one, should it arrive? Um, that may have a bigger bearing as to who emerges victorious. Very little in it. The score at half-time is two goals to one. Well, the action has already resumed here. Kone. Tete. Goes direct to the front line. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. And he's cut it out. <laughs> Tries to get it forward quickly. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Jonathan. Quick pull forward. Denisov. Here it comes. It's out for a goal kick. Mensa. Kone. Yelchin. T1s are, are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? It's 
tries to dink it in. Shapes to shoot. Disappointing finish in the end. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. It is just a question of running down the clock now. And that is that. And whatever the shortcomings on either side, it was a great game to watch. Just one between them. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, if ever there was a good tone setter for a football match, that was it. First minutes, first shot, first goal, and it set them up. That's where we have to end it, from me, Peter Drury. And